You're taking stock on ENCA. I'm Bruce Whitfield. Good evening and welcome to the program in a very quiet gymnasium at Discovery headquarters, the eighth floor at Discovery Place with Adrian Gore, chief executive and founder of Discovery, the recently launched Discovery Bank. We've also been talking this evening about the 1.4 billion rand uh, fund to help small businesses grow into big businesses in the future. But Discovery, like so many other South African companies, has had long-standing global ambitions. Got a bit of a blood nose in the United States, but undaunted, left Vitality there. And Vitality now, which many South Africans are familiar with in terms of cheaper gym memberships, cheaper flights, that sort of benefit of exercise and healthier lifestyles, is across how many health plans around the world now? Well, it's across 20 countries across the world, uh, with some of the biggest. In fact, I think our insurer network that we work with is probably 25 to 30 percent of the global covered population. So, so it's sorry, just correct me here, help me here, 30, 25-30% of the world's health insured population insured has got access to Vitality? No, of, our, our partner network okay. accounts for probably 20-30% to 30 of the world's insured population, life okay. and health. So the reach over time is, is quite tremendous. How do you um, make money out of Vitality in 20 countries across 25-30 partners? I mean, just, just to make the point, I mean, the, the kind of consumer side of vitality is, as you say, doing healthy things, going to the gym, etc. But the actual effect in the insurance space is a very different, profound actuarial shared value model of kind of restructuring how premium rates are priced, etc. So how we make money is we're kind of injecting this vitality into life and health insurers globally, where effectively they do what we're doing here. The shared value idea of engaging, your premiums flex over time, depending on how you engage, you get all these kind of incentives for doing the right stuff. Um, how we get paid is we share in the, the actual embedded value created. So when you just of lost 99.9% .9 of people talking actuarial stuff, you make money out of these insurance companies. Make you money. have lower payouts because their members are healthier. Yes, in effect. In I effect. mean that's uh, the, the that's bottom right. line. That's right. And in South Africa, you charge Vitality members to be members. You give them benefits in partnerships with others. Do you see the payback coming through in terms of the hospital claims, in terms of the doctor's visits, in terms oh, of healthcare no lifestyle? Oh, there's no doubt. The, 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 the data is so compelling um, that if you look at kind of status of vitality, you know, from blue through to gold, and you look at any measure, whether it's mortality, morbidity, hospital admission rates, how people recover after hospital, so, you know, how quick they, they recover from the same condition, it is uni I mean, it's unidirectional. It is remarkable. Um, things like physical activity in and of themselves bring mortality down dramatically, 30, 40%, and trigger healthy behavior. So, you know, it, it's exactly what you're saying. So how it looks over here, our partners are doing exactly the same thing, John Hancock in the US or ARA in the streets of Hong Kong, exactly the same kind of thing. We are kind of the intel inside, you know, helping them do it. But how is it that Vitality, manufactured here in Santon, can be adapted across different countries? Why don't they just make their own? I mean, how complicated is the Vitality factory, if you like, that this just simply can't be replicated by people who then wouldn't have to pay you effectively a royalty? Well, it's, it is complicated. I think the, the Vitality, we built a platform upon which all our partners are starting to sit. So there's a, a technology layer that is hard to replicate. There's data. There are partners like Apple that we work with that are working in the platform. Um, there are programs you know, from active rewards to a whole variety of different healthy foods like with Woolworths. So it's, it could be replicated, uh, it, some have tried, it's much more expensive to try and do that than to sit on our platform. So we're trying to build kind of the, the largest global platform upon which insurers sit and use the technology. Um, it's, not a, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a B2B model, it's a business to business model. So it's not something you plug in easily, it's not like going on Google, it takes years to actually get onto it. But these are massive institutions that pop themselves into the vitality structure. What is the earnings potential then for Discovery? Because I think your global earnings now make up only 3% of, of Discovery's total earnings. Yeah. I mean, is this a potential 20% of your business 10 years from now? We think it is. We think it is. I mean, I, th I think it's already, if you looked at the vitality group, kind of the, the platform business, I think it's already a unicorn. I think its value is probably a billion dollars north of that. I think it's potential. Um, we don't value business like we look at the earnings, mm -hmm. but I do think we can get it to 10 to 15 percent of the group earnings. The issue is the group is growing at the same time, you know, so to do that is not easy, but uh, it's really starting to emerge. These things take, we've always been clear, it takes five to eight years to really get scale. We, I think we're at kind of the fifth year of this thing, so it's starting to really emerge. 
you know, AIA across Asia Pacific, John Hancock in the US are getting amazing traction. So we are, we've got, we've got a whole bunch of partners lined up. Uh, we've been in Pakistan now, in the Netherlands, in Latin America. I mean, you we went to Apple and you said to them, we want to be able to sell your, your products. And they looked at you and said, you're some little startup in Africa, we really don't. Hold on a second, and now you're the biggest, distribu the biggest distributor of Apple products in Africa. Well, it actually, we went in and said we have this mad idea of bending mortality curves and with the savings funding the Apple Watch, for example. And they actually, to be fair, they were like, that's, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> How do we do it? And we are actually doing some interesting stuff with Apple. Uh, Apple and Aetna in the U.S. have done a similar thing with Atwood. We've helped them pipe and manage that. So we're doing quite a bit of Apple in different other areas that I think are quite exciting. But um, I have to say, as a South African company, they, you do get taken seriously. You know, no one really rates you weakly if your intellectual argument is sound. You know? And the Chinese took you seriously. I mean, Ping An is the world's biggest insurance company. They've got a health arm, which is obviously smaller, and you've got a 20% stake in the health arm of the world's biggest insurance company in China. Is this your 10 cent? Is this Discovery's potentially 10 cent? Is where Nuspabs has become this global tech player because of its 10 cent stake in China? Does yeah. Ping An Health become your 10 cent? I think it's look. I think it, is, it has been growing at 80 percent a year. It's ridiculous. So, it's actually bigger. And we have a goal this year. I think it's probably eight to ten million customers already. Uh, the health insurance growing at a rapid rate. Uh, it's just emerging in very good profitability. Can it be much, much bigger? I think it, it, for sure it's going to be bigger. Is it going to be at that scale? I think it would be maybe foolish to think. But it has massive potential. I mean, I must say we, we're excited about where it's going. Adrian Gore, Chief Executive and Founder of Discovery, taking stock this evening. You notice on my request that we stopped running after the first eight minutes. It's because I'm sick and I don't want to have to burden Discovery with a pneumonia bill. But that's it from taking stock for this week. Thank you so much for watching. More next time here on ENCA. Have a very good evening. Goodbye.